right now. on city property. Hello, I'm Sarah Goldenberg. Nicole and Brian are off today. It's another controversy involving another East Cleveland mayor. This time it's over whether the mayor, Brandon King, was doing anything wrong. Our Harry Boomer is live in East Cleveland with the story first at four. Harry. This town is no stranger to controversy for at least the last 20 years. The East Cleveland mayors have been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Is this latest allegation legit or much to do about nothing? City Hall is not his personal club. And, and so it's not about repercussions. It's about doing what's right. Justin Anderson is the deputy clerk of council for East Cleveland. He captured this video of Mayor Brandon King back in July. It's devastating what's in the video. Our city leader, the mayor, is on camera drinking and smoking in our city hall. Actually, the video is of the mayor at about 12.30 in the morning sitting with several people in the garage attached to the East Cleveland City Hall. I am devastated and something needs to be done and he needs to be held accountable. Juanita Gowdy is the East Cleveland City Council president. She plans on introducing legislation to address what she sees as a misuse of city property. Latik Shabazz represents Ward 3 in the city. You should be working, grinding, getting these city's problems taken care of. Now, I've got to ask this. Yes, sir. Is there any kind of vendetta that you have against the mayor or you have against the mayor? No. Or you have against the mayor? No, no, we just want him to run the city. Mayor Brandon King provided a lengthy written response. Here's the part that's relevant to the allegation of his conduct. The mayor wrote, If I want to wind down a six or seven day work week by having a Guinness stout, not beer, and smoking a cigar in the garage after hours with staff, residents, and stakeholders, and discuss the dysfunction of our legislative body or the revitalization opportunities that are before us or international politics, no policy or media outlet is going to stop me. This type of behavior should not be allowed anywhere. And that's why it's important for me to let the residents know and, and, and the viewers that this cannot be tolerated. I was devastated to see the behavior of the mayor. Outrage from those who say they want to hold Brandon King accountable to a defiant mayor who is standing his ground. East Cleveland residents caught in the middle of another would-be scandal. I will keep you posted on this continuing saga. Across from the East Cleveland City Hall, I'm Harry Boomer, 19 News.